My name is Kishore. I am a PhD student in Mechanical Engineering Department. In your book, Breaking India, you have made some. Uh, you have made uh, one Mr. Devanayagam thesis as reference in so many uh, times, <coughs> uh, especially that uh, Dravidian Aryan theory and all. Can you please tell more details on that? That well, thesis. Well, basically, okay. the basically uh, this is book uh, many books back, so I don't fully recall, but I'll tell you what I know, uh, what I what I think I've said there. Basically, I've written the history of how the Aryan Dravidian starts with Max Miller and with uh, Robert Caldwell. And then how for a while uh, the church actually doesn't, a lot of Westerners don't accept it. It becomes accepted uh, about 120 years ago only. It's kind of a, something that is to be taken seriously. And then in the rise of uh, Dravidian politics, you know, the, the Dravidian politics rise with this Dravidianization. Uh, actually the CIA plays a role. Uh, they take one young fellow, uh, I've forgotten his name, who, uh, who taken to Yale University and given a lot of publicity uh, and he becomes a kind of a fiery uh, spokesman. Uh, the, once the Dravidian parties start, then they start funding a lot of this ide identity engineering, a lot of the identity engineering. It is not Christianized initially. It's just a, a secular kind of, a, you know, a re reaction against Nehru's uh, Hindi and uh, kind of thing, you know. It's more of a regional reaction. It is not yet Christianized. It is not co-opted by the Christian uh, people at that point in time. Uh, although Robert Caldwell had, was, a, was a Christian and he had started this whole ball rolling. Uh, so later, it bec now the champions who are promoting this are the church is very much behind it. So uh, what got me interested is I think it was uh, uh, 2000 and something, I've forgotten the exact year, there was a conference on uh, history, South Indian history in New York. And uh, Hillary Clinton endorsed it. This, uh, I have it. Written, I have these details there. I got the flyer, and Hillary Clinton endorsed it. And their proceedings is very interesting. The whole thing is re revised history of uh, South India, the whole history of South India. And so these, this, this uh, I think they're a couple. The, the, Lemuria theory. Lemuria theory is there. These guys are there. There are many people there. Now, since all that has happened, much more has transpired. I have. I mean, I, if I had the time, I would do a uh, new edition because the characters are far more dangerous now. They've become more educated, better funded, well fed, and they are on the road fighting. They are not fight running away. So this battle of uh, uh, the Dravidian fault line and the Dalit fault line and the Christian role of Christianity and the role of uh, Western funding, the Western left and the Western right is becoming more intense. So that's really what it's about. That's what my goal is to, I'm not taking shots at one individual. I use individuals to make a point. Because you have, uh, several times you have heard that thesis. Yes. You told that it is not having any basis and you have said that again and again. Yeah, so and, and also the St. Thomas. Actually, I didn't get time to read that thesis. Yeah. So, uh, also this whole St. Thomas uh, is a fabrication that the archaeological so people have said that. I mean, I've talked to many archaeological people, this business that uh, this whole fabrication of St. Thomas coming here and then he started all these things and they found his uh, places, actual archaeological sites and whatnot. The, there are no archaeological sites like that that the archaeological survey is willing to certify. Uh, even during the, uh, the, the, uh, the Sonia Gandhi era, they, they were not uh, willing to certify that these are genuine, authentic archaeological sites. So I think a lot of uh, history gets made up and fabricated. And this is an example of that. The whole Aryan theory, I think, is an example of that.